how good are the URL self-assessments uh, as assessment tools? They're actually pretty accurate, but we don't need to do them because the NVMEs are accurate. So the URL self-assessments are actually, they are actually pretty accurate. The reason I don't prescribe URL self-assessments, I'll tell you why. Because the NVMEs are legit. And if you are, let's say, scoring well in the NVMEs, and then you take a URL self-assessment and you do shitty, then we can't ignore it. Then it's like, well, fuck. Now we've got to do like five extra NVMEs. Like, let's do 19 and earlier now. Let's do like 15 to 19 now to rebuild our confidence because and reassurance because we did shitty on a URL self-assessment. So that's what happens if you do poorly on a URL self-assessment. You can just stick to the NVMEs. There's more than enough. You just do 20 through 32. That's enough. Now, of course, when we come out with our own self-assessments, eventually I'll be like, yeah, of course. Do Melman self-assessments. I mean, I'm joking, but like at the moment, uh, in terms of the QBank self-assessments, the NVMEs are sufficient, so they're optional. And when we come out with our own self-assessments, I'll probably tell you the same thing. I'll be like, well, you can do them, they're optional, but the NVMEs are what you want to use.